So why do you feel so lonely so often? How many of you have felt lonely? Yeah, if none of if, if any of you don't put your hand up, you're lying. Every <laughs> single human has felt lonely at some point. When I was young, I had this compulsion to go walk about. I couldn't help myself. Might have something to do with <laughs> my Aboriginal blood. This compulsion would arise when I started to notice a sense of, mm, I guess, a distance or a block or a disconnection between myself and others. I experienced actually a lot of rejection as a child because I was very difficult to comprehend, I guess. So most people couldn't understand me and I was somewhat an outcast. So of course, as a human, being an outcast does lead to feeling lonely. It's actually one of the deepest needs of the human, belonging. You know that? So, when I look back, I can see how whenever there was this tipping point of feeling so alienated, compulsion would arise, I'd go walk about. Go wandering over the hills, go climbing a tree, go into the forest, go to the sea. You know, there with nature, I didn't feel lonely. Not at all. Why do you think humans who do go off on sabbatical, go to the wilderness, actually become so full so enriched, so at peace. Have you ever heard of a person who's gone off to the wilderness who comes back and goes, God damn, that was just terribly, miserably lonely out there? No. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen because we are designed on the very same stuff. We're designed to be a part of this interconnected web, to be part of this family of life, of every creature. That's what we're designed as. And so when we visit that again, it starts to feel good again. <laughs> 